talk about some helpful things to remember when you're using your sport climbing quick draws. I'll preface by saying there are other types of quick draws, but today I'm just going to cover sport climbing ones. The first thing you might have noticed is that one of the carabiners moves around a lot more on the dog bone than the other carabiner. This carabiner is meant to attach the bolt on the rock. This makes even more sense if you look at the gates of the carabiners. You'll notice that the one that's made for the rope end is bent, and the one that's made for the bolt end is straight. Having that bent gate just makes it easier for you to push the rope through. It's the same thing when we're looking at wire gate quick draws. One easy way to remember which is the bolt end versus the rope end is to imagine yourself trying to clip that quick draw when it's moving all over the place. If you're trying to send your projects, the goal is not to make your life harder. All right, guys, that's it. I hope it was helpful. Be safe. And as always, happy climbing. Kate's breakdown here is great. Really good. Um, I just wanted to add uh, one minor thing about the bolt side of the quick draw and the rope side. If you're sport climbing a lot and you're taking a lot of falls, uh, the bolt side clip should always remain on the bolt side. You shouldn't swap carabiners. Uh, in the video, she shows a wire gate and a bent gate, uh, which are always the rope side. Great. Pretty easy though for beginners to somehow swap those. Uh, the result is that if you're falling on that a lot, it's on the bolt side, you get little tiny burrs inside the carabiner. Um, and then when you swap ends of the dog bone or a, a loose draw and you're falling on it, those burrs start to damage your rope over time. Uh, so always keep the same carabiners on the right sides of the rope. Bolt carabiners, rope carabiners, they're different carabiners.